and welcome to another episode of Razor's Edge by the Bull Gent. I'm Joel Turner. I'm Paul Inman, as you know. Pleased to see you, meet you all again. And today the topic of discussion is beards, which seem to go together with bald men, like cheese and pickle, fish and chips, uh, more corn wise. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty common yeah. that you'll see yeah. a, a bald man sporting a beard. Um, I've had to get rid of them. many bald guys out there without beard. Yeah, I'm just going to say, not many out there without a beard, eh, Joel? No, no. <laughs> What's happened there? What's happened well, there, I've... Joel? I mean, last time we saw you, it was a good beard. So, <laughs> Expl- I fell into the, the same trap as... Yeah, I fell into the same trap as last year. Well, last year, I, I went to the Turkish barbers, got it all nicely groomed, looking really neat, the beard, really nice, really neat. Came home, I thought, oh, it looks looks absolutely spick and span. Came home, my wife's like, I don't like it. I said, well, what do you mean you don't like it? I've had this beard, <laughs> <laughs> I've had this beard for about two months. All I've done is had it tidied up. What's the problem? And she said, well, it just, look, it, it just looks more like a beard now. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I was baffled. I was Sorry, baffled. your nice tidy beard now looks more like a beard, so therefore I don't like it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Joel, Joel, and you've fallen into the same trap this year as well. Yeah, I did the same thing this year. So I, 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 I trimmed under here, under my neck. Yeah. Got yeah. to my jawline. She yeah. said, "No, I don't like. I don't like that. I don't like that. You're gonna have to take <laughs> it all off. You're gonna take it all off." <laughs> I don't know if I recognise you anymore, Joe, with that little bit of no. facial hair. There. Well, no. you look, you look, you look too clean and and shaven and just a bit of stubble. <laughs> I mean, for me though, my whole my whole adult life, well, since puberty, I've never consistently wet shaved. I've always I've always just trimmed my facial hair. I've always had stubble. Um, mm. What about you? When when did you have you gone for a period of clean shaving, or has it been stubble the whole time? I'd say I'd say I was pretty much clean shaven out throughout my kind of teenage years and stuff like that. Um, and then as I started to lose my hair, I probably would kind of try and keep a bit of stubble. But beards at my age then were just not a thing. If you had a beard, you were seen as an old man or someone scruffy or one of the twits from Roald Dahl. You know, that's that's the kind of era of beards when, when I was growing up. <laughs> yeah, beards weren't, beards, weren't, beards weren't cool, were they? But your beards were not cool when you were when you were in your kind of 17, 18, 20s and all that kind of era. But um, I think I got a bit more into facial hair, I think probably when I started to properly lose my hair. Mm. And I found it a bit of a way, and I think that's what a lot of guys do now, I found it a bit of a way to balance my face. Mm. I felt like my... F- because I was still going through the kind of acceptance stage, which we've talked about, I felt my face was a bit too much on display without something around here. So I started kind of growing, I would say, a goatee. And it was kind of in the 90s as well when the goatee was acceptable and it was a bit of a trendy thing to have and stuff like that. So I, I kind of had quite a, quite a big goatee for quite a while and then used to shave all around it. But then what I found is, and I think guys, will, you'll, anyone will relate to this from guys' point of view, if you're shaving down here, wet shaving, and you're not doing it properly, you're going to get these kind of shaving nicks, ingrowing hairs, rashes, where your collar, when you were, you know, you had a shirt on and it would rub against the shaving yeah. bit of you, where you've just shaved. Well, it's it awful, really, it's awful, really, awful that, yeah, it, oh, awful feeling. It's terrible, terrible, and the pain from it as well. So I, I decided to kind of just let it grow and then just trim it. And ever since then, oh God, for the last, I don't know, 20 years or more, I've probably been just, actually just trimming my facial hair and it goes from different lengths and stuff like that but I've never I haven't I can't remember the last time properly I did a full wet shave all on the whole of my face that's true no 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 can't same remember the last time. same yeah but yeah, yeah I, that, a... I, I look weird you know in the same way that my wife doesn't like it if I have too much of a beard or too styled a beard if I shave my face which she's probably seen like a handful of times. I don't like it myself either, as it goes. Mm. But she mm. it properly freaks her out. She hates it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "Who are you? Who are you?" Yeah, exactly. Um, I, yeah. I just, I, I do feel like I look like a big baby, basically. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> we need to get you a big baby girl. 
<laughs> you come on next time with a big baby go on. <laughs> and a shaved face. Yeah, it's quite disturbing. It is quite disturbing. But no, and that, that would be even more disturbing, to be fair. Yeah. It was, so you, you went from a goatee to basically the same style as you've got now. Yeah, pretty much. Roughly. Pretty much. I mean, this is probably my favourite kind of style where it's kind of not short, not beard length and short underneath here. You kind of yep. keep it kind of neat there. Not always the case. A lot of the time you do let it grow down. But the, the longest I've had is when it kind of came to a bit more of a point at the front. Not some kind of like wizard's beard or something like that. <laughs> Did you braid it? it was, did you braid it a little bit? Hello. <laughs> you braid it. You colour it a different colour, like purple end or something. Yeah. No, it was not. It was definitely not a Billy Connolly. Um, but it, I've, I've had kind of different shapes and different styles of it. But I think this yeah. is the most comfortable one. And I do think it is a massive, massive, not just necessarily necessarily trend anymore. It's actually a, a fashion style. I mean, yeah. you look at you look at any kind of magazine photo shoot anything you know brands that are using now guy, bald guys with beards with tattoos and everything else it's just become quite mainstream really to have a bald head and a beard yeah, yeah. You know, or, or, a, or a, you know, a groomed groomed hair and, and a beard you see it in many a, a style magazine these days models are, uh, are, are sorting beards on the catwalk so it's not something that is seen as a bit of a ooh, that guy's got a beard <laughs> no that's Anymore. true so when, when so you yeah, so I, I suppose like um, back in my um, more hirsute days, you know, we talked before about how I had longer hair. I thought it was cool to have at school, you know, because you weren't really allowed facial hair to have like a little soul patch thing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, no. I was like, oh yeah, just get away with this. Like, no, you know, no one's going to tell me not to have this. And I felt it's very, very rebellious, a really rebellious soul patch. It was quite grim yeah, really. on reflection. Um, yeah. So I had that quite, for quite a while. But we've kind of stubble, basically. And then um, I've never really committed to, like, a, a goatee. Um, I guess because the hair didn't really, at that point, um, connect, you know, like, mm. from my tash down to my sort of chin area. So there's yeah, like yeah, holes yeah. by the side of my mouth. So I could have had, I had, I think if that's, so for a while I had just like a tash and then a goatee here with, yeah. you know, and not, not the side bits. Um, and then, and then it just went into stubble. And then probably it's only the last three years that I've actually gone with the full beard in, in yeah, winter no, mainly I mean, in winter. I think I hadn't met up with you for a few months and then I saw you with a beard and I was like, yeah, yeah, I think, he, I think he's rocking the beard. Up there. <laughs> I think it suits him. Yeah. And I, it, might, it might have just been when you'd come back from a Turkish barber as well because it was very, very yeah. straight and manicured. It was. And I was like, oh, there was a little bit of beard envy at that point. I was like, <laughs> how the hell has he got it looking like that? <laughs> well, it wasn't, it that, wasn't me. It wasn't me. I think that, yeah. you know, that. The problem for me is like getting past the itchy stage, the the scraggly itchy stage. If I can get past well, that, that yeah. I mean, let, right. let's talk about let's talk about maintenance. What do you do? How do you trim your beard? Keep it in check. I use, and I think you may have alluded to it on some of the blog. Um, I mean, on the blog, I was going to say at the end of this as well, we'll put some up some of the links to some of the blog articles we've done on beard styles, beard grooming looking after your beard, how to deal with an itchiness and, and the growing stages of your beard. Yeah. We'll, we'll put those links on so so viewers can kind of have a look on the blog about some of the things that we've actually written about. So we don't want to go yeah. into it in too much depth on this, but no. that will be definitely worth looking at. Um, and also the different beard styles for, for guys with bald heads, what, what suits what suits your face shape and things like that. That's always a good one to look at. But in, in terms of grooming, I um, for, for many years I used to use those... Um, plugging like the ones that you do with your hair like the the um the trimmers for buzz yeah. cutting I use those there but the, I yeah well I, I, i've got one of those yeah that's what yeah. i use yeah, yeah exactly. guard, so, it's, it's yeah. absolutely rub yeah. it's absolutely rubbish <laughs> yeah so they, they, they were quite brutal and rubbish yeah. so i started going down to like smaller battery powered ones yeah but i found that they lasted and they, <clears> yeah they just, exactly again, exactly they never really lasted <clears throat> excuse me and the one I really like at the moment is the um, Philips. I think it's the Philips Body Groom, the little green one. 
Okay. Again, we'll probably do a. <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> it's not the COVID. <laughs> it's um, not the COVID. <laughs> 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 but it's the Philips body groom and it's the green yeah. handle one and it's got different attachments on it's rechargeable yeah. like a okay. electric toothbrush but it's got a double sided head on it um, oh, that sounds good we'll put we'll put some, we'll try and put some pictures up on, on yeah, the yeah. as well of it they are fantastic because they can be really really accurate in if you want yeah. to kind of shape your beard but then you stick the attachment on the end of it and you can kind of you know to different length style different parts of your beard that's cool. And I found, you know, not only that, but you can go anywhere else on your body as well. So if you need to do a bit of manscaping. <laughs> okay, else, okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's very good for anywhere else as well. But it's you can use it in the shower. You can wash it under yeah. the sink. So I, I tend to just use that to maintain yeah. it. So that's kind of my groom. From a, from a groom in the beard side. And then afterwards, again, like I've banged on to everybody who watches this about moisturizing it once you've finished all your kind of wet showering shaving routine grooming mm. get some moisturizer on, and then i probably finish off with a little bit of um probably just a couple of drops of any really good beard oil okay just kind of give it a rub a rubbing kind of just move off your face a bit like this just making sure nothing's sticking out of miles and this is a little trick i i learned from uh it was an article i read i think it was on men's health or something like that and it was about getting an old toothbrush mm. And you're just finishing off with an old toothbrush at the end. And the old toothbrush. Oh, what? To style it? Just to straight and everything. Yeah. Okay. And the oil, basically, the oil goes on to the toothbrush. Okay. Yeah. So the oil sits on the toothbrush head. Yeah. And then you just put that in as well. Oh, that's so rather good. than being your hand and losing it all, you have it. You have like a, it's basically like a mini comb, but any any old toothbrush you have lying around or even a newish one, just keep that in your kind of grooming box. And then yeah. at the end of it, the oil that's already on, don't put any more onto the toothbrush. Just use that, work it in by kind of just pulling it down a bit, and you'll find that it takes it off your face, it takes off any leftover oil you've got on your, okay. on your skin as well. Yeah, because that's the good. that's the thing I don't like about beard oil at times. Like you can just end up with it clagged in your beard a little bit. Um well, and then particularly if it's yeah, exactly. Inside that would have helped me. Inside that would have helped me. I'll never, I'll never have that problem again. Because like some never. on some days, if you go out with a wet beard, or a, or particularly at the moment it's freezing in England, or a beard that's got a lot of beard oil in it, then you go out mm. and it's like Jesus Christ! Like, like I've got icicles in my beard. <laughs> it's not, and <laughs> yeah. no one likes that feel throughout the day of like touching their beard and it feeling like you know an oil slick. It's not nice, is it? Sorry. Oh, oh, you put it on your hand and you can see it on your hand and then you go, oh, what should I do with that? Do you know what I should do with that? Yeah. I'll wipe it on my head. <laughs> <that's> what, <laughs> just rub my head with the oily hand. And then yeah. you ask yourself later on in the day, why does, why does this Mattify Infect moisturiser I've got not work? It's probably because it's got about two inches of beard oil on the top of it. That's why it doesn't work. Yeah, so, look, exactly. a, top, a top tip that I, I learned and, and I use is, you know, you finish off with a, with a dry toothbrush Yep. Make sure, you know, after a couple of days of using it or whatever, make sure you wash your toothbrush, give it a bit of soap in there, give it a good clean, let it dry out again, and then you're ready to go with it again. And that just kind of combs your beard at the same time as taking any excess oil off it. You're ready to go. You, you'll look, it'll look amazing. Look, look as good as you. Look as good as you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm denuded of beard. It's rubbish. I hate it. Like a beard, a beard is like a winter thing for me. I have, I have a beard throughout winter, and like to lose the beard in those circumstances, I, I, it's just, it's just horrendous. I know. I, I thought I was trying to. I thought I, I was improving. I thought we're I was like, like, improving you know, it. Let's do. Let's do a piece on beard. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do well, love yeah. that. Is it? Let's let's do a piece on beards, Paul. Yeah, that's a good idea. But I haven't got one this today. <laughs> but, <laughs> My wife made me shave it off. <laughs> I guess, I guess the episode is in, in memoriam of my beard, you know, so like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do for, that. Let's call it it's that. For the, it's for the memories that we shared together. So <laughs> the memories that were washed down the sink. <laughs> exactly. There'll be another beard. There'll be another beard. No, but I, I'm, in all serious, I think when you're a bald guy, the, you know, there isn't much left in terms of styling for your face. 
you know, it's not like you're going to, you know, style your eyebrows or this, that, and the other. <laughs> so, you know, and, and there'll be guys out there that I'll be watching just thinking, well, I'm, I'm struggling to grow a beard. I have parts of alopecia on my face that, you know, it doesn't, doesn't grow properly or yeah. whatever else. And we're giving advice about how good you look growing a beard. And I know it's going to be difficult for, for some guys to, to do that, but there is ways of every guy will have some form of facial hair. And if you're a bald guy and you're struggling with the way you look, just, just experiment a bit. Try, try some different looks, even if, even if it's just a bit of a moustache. Or it's a bit of a you know a patch here or a patch under your chin or yeah. things like that. I mean, moustaches are cool is, at the moment. There is ways that you can. Try. Yeah, moustaches are cool at the moment. You know, I mean, God, these moustache competitions, beard competitions, people who are styling the ends of them. You know, there's so much more acceptance around male facial hair at the moment and styling of that. That I think for the bald guy who is concerned about his looks and what else he can do to potentially not alleviate the fact that people might be looking at his bald head or whatever else but a beard does not it does detract from that but it also gives you a sense of style as well of your own because you can do whatever you want with whatever facial hair you have everyone everyone's different Colors, yeah no beard, no reason why you can't dye the beard a different color or whatever else and you know some guys look really cool when they've even dyed the beards like white or gray you yeah, know, yeah i've seen it on some guys and it yeah. looks really cool so I would say to you know any bald guy who's thinking about it or is starting to go bald and they're thinking, well, well I'm you know I'm not going to have my grooming styling up here anymore. Is think about what you can do with your facial hair. Think about styles you can create. Think about looks you can create. You know it doesn't take that long to grow some a decent you know amount of stubble I've got. Yeah, it takes a long time to grow a full beard, but you don't have to grow a full beard to get a, you know a bit of a style and a bit of a grooming feel to your face by just growing a little bit. So no, I'd agree. I'd more. agree. I think the, the, the overarching message is that grooming doesn't necessarily have to end when you lose your hair. You know, there's still things you can do um, and enjoy as well. Like I, th I think we've enjoyed different styles of, like you say, beard over the years and continue to. So, yeah, Definitely. it's a rose. It's a rosy outlook for the bearded bald man is, out there. And skincare, because, you know, you open up all kinds of stuff when you've got a bit of a beard going on, you know, you've got to look after the rest of your face. And, you know, I always say, and we'll, again, we'll go into this in other shows, but we've done it on the blog, but grooming the rest of your face, you know, mm. I always bang on about it. Get the hair out of your ears, guys. Get the yeah. hair out of your nose. When you're shaving down here, if you've got big tufts coming out, get rid of them. If yeah, and the neck as back, well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you've yeah. got hairy back and, you, you know, you stop here on your neck. And then there's a big stop mark between the back of your yeah. neck where your hair was and where your hair starts on your back. Do something about it. Go get it waxed. Ask mm. your girlfriend, your wife, your boyfriend, whoever it is, ask them to look at where you can't see and, and sort out your grooming. It's not hard. It's really not hard to make yourself look better with just a little bit more effort. A bit so, of yeah. care and attention. Exactly. I mean, look at you, Joel. Look how good you look at all <laughs> <laughs> well it's christmas so you gotta put the effort in haven't you <laughs> you do i mean anyway well let's not go into that we can start making some jokes about each other at this rate but look again everybody thanks for watching the videos joel again thank you for your time and and obviously looking so clean and groomed <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe again it's all helping us yep. make this content and um, we'll, we'll, if we don't, um, see you again. Everybody out there, have a really, really good Christmas, uh, um, a safe one, um, and a new good and prosperous new year. Hopefully things will be better in 2021, we hope. Um, anything you'd like to add, Joel, before we kind of close on the, the no. second? <laughs> no? No, I was, I was going to do a joke about upside down heads, but... <laughs> no, it, it, it just it just never fitted in so it's fine we'll, we'll, leave, we'll, we'll leave it there we'll squeeze it in for next time yeah anyway yeah, on that note see you later everyone thanks very much yeah.